Bobby says, I have a talent working with children, but lately I'm losing confidence because I feel like I have no control over the environment. How do I know children are my path or should I try another avenue of work? How did you know what life is going to be about when you were growing up? You didn't. You were doing everything as you would see is best way to do or negotiate or interact with it. Whether it was your home life, your school life, your homeworks, you just dealt with them as steps that it came to be wherever you were. You didn't think about, okay, Today I'm going to grade three, but I don't know if grade three is really going to get me anywhere. So I'm not sure really should I do my best or should I just wait and keep staying on grade two or hope that I will get to grade four. Unless you actually negotiate one way or another grade three, you can't get to grade four, right? Unless you one way or another negotiate this street, you can't get to the next street. So it doesn't matter really, you think, if this street is where you should be or not. By negotiating this street, there would be other streets become apparent to you. And then you will have a better way to know which ones to choose and more options. So by being involved with developing, being good with children right now, is something that at this moment seems to be right. And as you go on, you will see if this was or wasn't, because we may feel this is something I want to do, but after learning it or in, involved in it, after a while you feel, no, it wasn't. I'm really not really that keen in it. I was because it was all brand new and new thing to me, something to learn, and we all want to learn things, and so you were excited about it, and you did a good job, but now you feel it is not going to give you more of what you're hoping to learn. That is when you will keep your eyes and ears open for other opportunities because you have passed this street now you can see there are other branches of streets they can choose and then you can maybe see have a foresight see which street ends out where somehow looks like the place I want to be so you will by your feelings you will get into that and see if that's right if that wasn't then again it has advanced to a certain point you learn something new and then you again you see other possibilities and you change but don't think that you should know it all for sure now the whole path of experiencing things is how you become clear what is or is not that interesting to you so don't be so uh, quick in thinking that suddenly you got to have the answer before you change you keep doing it and keep your eyes and ears open, your interest might change. Even if you really like what you're doing, your interest might change at a certain point in life and then be open to that. For now, don't be bothered about what this might or might not be. Just do your job well. Be good as long as you're doing it. And while you're doing it, you will get that self-satisfaction of having done a good job with the children. And then eventually you will see because I've done a good job, I like it more. Or even though I've done a good job and I'm really happy helping children and they're benefiting from it, but I still think something else is better for me. And you will find that something else. When you do, then you make a decision to change your life. But as long as you're doing what you're doing, pay full focus and attention to it and do a good job because that brings you a lot more satisfaction, confidence, and happiness, whether for this job, or for whatever else you may want to be doing because you're conditioning yourself to do a good job at whatever it is that you're doing. Not that I'll do it, but I'm going to wait for something else. Okay, keep your eyes open for something else. But at this moment, focus on this because you will be fe feeling happier and the children will benefit fully from your talent and know-how. Bobby says, wow, wonderful, thank you for clarity. Oh, you're welcome, Bobby. I'm glad that you enjoyed. That's something for you to think about. So let's see. 
Amber says, thank you for your answer. You're my pleasure.